Alright, how's it going? So I want to talk a little bit about the new mythic release today, which is the king in yellow. King in yellow, I think that's what it is. Just recently rolled him, and I'm pretty excited to showcase what he's able to do because this unit completely breaks the game in terms of its current meta, what it's comprised of, and especially the elemental challenge setups and, you know, what they use. So if you've seen IQT setups before, I think you'll be able to understand that IQT setups don't contain Amaterasu, right? Because Amaterasu can't really deal with the spirits. Well, at least Amaterasu not as the main damage dealer, right? As the main damage dealer, you'll usually see Zeus because Zeus can actually damage this ice spirit. But when you add in the king here, the king's ability is capable of changing the element affinity of all of your units. And so what that means is that Amaterasu will no longer be a fire type that can't damage these ice spirits. Instead, Amaterasu will be a cosmic type and a cosmic type as you've seen there is still doing unfavorable damage cosmic types I believe do unfavorable damage against everything in the game however what that means now is that Amaterasu can actually go past the immunity the elemental immunity of these ice spirits and be able to actually kill them and so this completely changes the late game and end game meta because originally what you see with IQT setups is you'd have your main carry as your Zeus or in Volcano Goddess setups, you'd have your main carry as a Jiraiya, right? And it's undeniable that these units are strong, but their raw damage output is nowhere close compared to the capability of an Amaterasu. But now, as you have this new King in Yellow, you can completely throw out these types of setups that actually have to involve these elemental carries and you just run an Amaterasu setup in every single elemental challenge and you're able to succeed with it. Not even just Amaterasu. Let's say you don't have access to Amaterasu. Your best damage dealer is this elemental unit that normally would not be playable because they're locked into an element that's not favorable, right? Well, that's no longer an issue. Well, maybe I shouldn't show Amaterasu here. Maybe I should demonstrate this one with... Maybe I'll just demonstrate it on IQT again. But this time I'll run a Jiraiya, which normally is not ran in IQT because he's considered very useless here. So I'll just put a Jiraiya down, Horus down. You can see that the Jiraiya is literally not doing any damage. The Horus is doing more damage. But as I add in this King in yellow, and let's see the ability used. Yep, Jiraiya is able to do a bunch of damage to all these units that he originally was not even able to touch. So it's just a almost like yeah game breaking meta breaking new type of unit yeah and the king in yellow in addition to that does not need to be start up does not need to be leveled up you don't need to put any resources into him except for being able to summon him because he's a fully utility support unit you're just there for the ability for the capability to turn everything into an elemental affinity that is more favorable which is of course the cosmic affinity of course this also does have some use in the new cosmic tower map some bosses you can only damage if you do have the cosmic affinity so this just helps out a lot because you are able to, to again use those stronger units have them be able to utilize the cosmic affinity and be able to clear this not so endless map right people have cleared it i believe um some grandmasters in the underground discord notably i think danny chang and peko have been doing a lot of testing for this they've been able to clear this level i think some other people have done it too but I just saw their clears and their posts regarding different things. So definitely the best mythic out of this current rotation here, the Lovecraftian Pantheon, by far better than the other two, which I believe are just mediocre damage dealers. So yeah, King in Yellow, insanely good, game breaking, check them out. Not so great in these earlier levels, I think. You could probably use them as a damage carry, honestly. Just let me showcase his attacks real quick. If we can go to... I don't know if we can go to JR normal real quick. His attack does look pretty cool, but it's completely overshadowed by his elemental affinity ability. So, yeah, I mean, he can attack. Yeah, that's um, probably not the best use for him. Again, when you do have the cosmic affinity, it puts you at a damage disadvantage if you are just up against these no type enemies that don't really matter whether or not you have an element i'm trying to find my mighty here but its primary use is just going to be for those late game end game challenges in which case he's 
completely, utterly broken, right? Elements don't matter anymore. Originally, what sort of shaped the meta in these levels is completely gone. The, the elements don't matter at all. And I'm just going to say, I'll showcase the specific setups for this later, but I'm just going to say now that you are able to beat every single elemental challenge in hard mode, utilizing the king and, of course, the other mythics and strong units as well. So that's going to be it for this video. I'll make more videos talking about the king later, but if you wanted to know if the king is good or not, the king is utterly broken, insane, so strong. Like, subscribe. See ya.